welcome to Breathe Kids. We're super excited to spend our morning with you. If you are ready to shout really loud, I want you to shout your names at the screen as loud as possible after three. One, two, three. Amazing. I'm so glad you've joined us. If you're new this morning, my name is Lucy and I and the Breathe Kids team are excited to spend our morning with you. We are now going to go into a time of praise and worship. So get yourselves ready and let's go and praise Jesus. started our brand new series all about Noah and it was really interesting learning about how Noah obeyed God. Today we are going to have a look at how Noah builds a boat. So let's go and watch this cartoon together. Stories of the Bible. Noah builds a boat. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a large boat. Okay and told him exactly how to build the boat. All right, got it. Then God told Noah that he would cover the earth with a flood, but that Noah and his family would be safe. Oh, thank you. 
God told Noah to fill the boat with a pair of every kind of animal and bird. Hey, bird! And to bring enough food for his family and the animals. I've got it. So Noah did everything exactly as God commanded him. All right, all you, come on. He filled the boat with a pair of every animal, bird, and small animal that scurries along the ground. Colored, bird, moss, okay, all here. Then Noah, his family, and all the animals went into the boat, and then they waited for the flood to come. Now's the time for you to go and get your notebooks, your pens, and your Bibles ready to take some notes. Are you ready? You've got 10 seconds. Go. So, to recap, last week we saw that God was sorry that he ever made humans. But Noah found favour in the Lord, so God asked him to build an ark. So he did. Now remember, this was the first time ever that people would have seen an ark as big as this. So people would have thought that he was kind of crazy. But he remained faithful and trusted in the Lord. If you have your Bibles with you, turn with me to Genesis chapter 6, verses 14 to 16, and we can read it together. It says this. Build a boat of cypress wood for yourself. Make rooms in it and cover it inside and outside with tar. This is how big I want you to build the boat. 450 feet long, 75 feet wide and 45 feet high. Make an opening around the top of the boat. Make it 18 inches high from the edge of the roof down. Put a door in the side of the boat. Make an upper, middle and lower deck in it. Well, this is pretty awesome. Just take a second to imagine how big this boat would have been. Noah built the boat because God told him to. Would you do something if God told you to do it? It may seem scary at the time, but as we keep trusting God, our faith will grow and everything is possible with God. God gave Noah the exact measurements and materials he would need to build this huge boat. I love that God is in the detail of it all. This makes me think that God is also interested in the detail of my life and yours. In fact, we know this because we know that God wants to have a personal relationship with you. He loves you that much that the God of the universe cares and wants you to know him. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for what we have learned about Noah today. He was faithful and obedient and he built the boat you asked him to. We also want to thank you for being interested in the details of our lives. I pray we would live our lives knowing we are loved by you. In Jesus' powerful name we pray, amen and amen. This was awesome. I loved learning about this part of the story of Noah. Come back next week to find out more. Hi Trish, I'm doing the Red Reverse. John 14, 15. If you love me, you will follow my command. Amen. Hi church, I'm doing the movie verse. John 14, 15. If you love me, you will follow my command. Amen. Hi church, I'm doing the memory verse. John 14, 15. If you love me, you will follow my command. Amen. Bye church. Our memory verse for this week is 1 Thessalonians 5, 11, And it says this. So comfort each other and give each other strength, just as you are doing now. Say it with me. So comfort each other and give each other strength, just as you are doing now. You can underline this in your Bibles, write it down, or even put it up on the fridge. Let's take a look at how you got on with the craft. I'm now going to hand over to Rose, who has got an awesome craft for you to do. Hello church, today we're going to be making a paper boat, which rocks. And so what you will need for this is a paper plate, 
some watercolour paint, paint brushes and some water or you can use crayons. Now you'll need a straw, a plastic bag or some tissue paper or fabric or anything really to make your sale. Then you'll need scissors and salad tape. First off we're going to fold our boat in half. Now you might need your grown ups help for this. But you're just going to snip it down the middle like that. And then be very careful. And then just do this another little, little snip like that. And then we are going to fold flatten it out again. And then we're going to paint the rim by so this bit blue or colour it in with your crayons. And this will be our C. we wait for our room to dry we're going to paint our boat now your boat can be whatever colour you like I'm just doing mine brown oh no to build the boat out of wood so I'm just adding some screws to keep it all together So now that our sea is dry, we're going to add some little fish. I'm just doing a triangle with lemon over on top. And your fish can be any colour you like. It can even be multicoloured. So if you're using a bag, you just need to cut it out like I have. And then we're just going to fold it in half. So if you're using um, tissue paper, you're going to cut a square and then fold it in half and then you can fold it in half again and just wrap that around your straw. So I'm using this, so now I'm just going to put it on and then I'm just going to put some salad tape there and on the bottom to make sure that it stays on the straw taping you need to be careful to leave a little hole in the bottom so that way it's a lot easier for you to just slide it onto your straw and voila and make sure they fold and then you've got a little rocking boat this is the one that my mother made this is one of the ones that I made I can't wait to see all yours Bye! Wasn't that awesome? I loved that. If you think you can have a go, why don't you get your grown-ups to send in a photo or video of you doing this craft or we'll show it here on our screens next week. This week we have got a brand new devotional for you to do. You'll find this on the Breathe New Life Church website underneath the Breathe Kids Church section. Remember, if you want to be on the Breathe Kids Church video, get your grown-ups to send in photos and videos of you doing craft, the challenge and the memory verse. We can't wait to see how you got on this week. Thank you so much for joining us. We have had the best morning. It's so interesting that God loves and cares so much that he's bothered about the details of our lives. Why don't you come back next week to find out a little bit more about Noah. Have the best week, everyone. We'll see you all soon. Bye. Oh, yeah.